Release the Kraken! Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk with you about the VX Kraken from Vectri Amplifier. So I have this amplifier for almost a year now, so I almost know everything about the amp. So let's see this amp in details. Uh, the amp has two channels, uh, gain 1 and 2. You can select between the channels by this toggle switch here in the middle. They both share the same EQ, bass, mid and triple. And then there is volume master 1, which is volume 1, and there is a volume 2. In normal case, the volume one will be for both channels, but it, once you connect your foot switch, now you can access the volume two. And the amp has two power mode section, high and low. The high one will give you 50 watt, and the low one will give you 8 watt. The amp has four pre-amp tubes, EC83 or 12AX7, and in the power section, it has two 6L6 tubes. It can be switched to EL34 by using this flip switch under the housing in the on this side, in the left side. Uh, you can also order it by EL34 from Victory company itself without no extra cost. And that's something nice from the company. Uh, one more thing regarding the power, the amp can be worked in a single mode, which means we'll use only one tube in the power tube section. And in that case, it will be class A amplifier and the power rate will become very low. Like in the high power mode, which is 50 watt, with two tubes but if you use only one tube it will become one watt and in the low power mode which is eight watt in both tubes but in case of using one tube it will be only 0.3 watt and that's really cool to have four different power just keep in mind when you use this single power mode or just one tube in the power section the sound tone will be different than the both tubes so you need to be aware there is a difference in tone not just the power uh, and it's really and for me that was really easy to get it by my ears when I just switching from one tube to two tubes from the low power mode and the high power modes uh, with both tubes the difference can be recognized by a B comparison sometimes even don't get if you have more sensitive ears than me maybe you'll get it much better uh, and then the power section which is somehow misleading or is not well written on the amp itself but it's described in the manual so you can see there is three output for the power section one 16 ohm and that to connect 16 ohm cabinet and then you will have two 8 ohms and take care guys these two 8 ohms are not for two 8 ohms cabinet actually these two 8 ohms are for two 16 ohm cabinet and if you have 8 ohm cabinet you just use one of them you can't use both with 8 ohm so let's say it should be written in that way. 116, take this one. 216, take this two. You have 18, take any one from this two. That's it. Now, beside the power tube, you will have the effects loop, send and return, normal uh, series effects loop, and then you will have two inputs for two foot switches, FS1 and FS2. The amp comes with only one foot switch. 
So you can order a second uh, foot switch, which will cost you around 80 pound, or you can build one in your home, same as I did, which cost me around seven euros. Still in plastic box, but it's functioning perfectly. And besides the seven euros, I need to buy a stereo cable. Overall, it cost me around 15 to 20 euros. Uh, so before we discuss the foot switching options, because there is a lot inside this one, this small bottom here is called base focus. And this function is mainly designed if you're going to use a seven strings or down tune guitar like C tune or D tune. Um, it makes the low frequencies more defined and more accurate. Um, so without talking a lot about it, let's hear the difference between bass focus activated on and off on a simple ref on B and E strings. For my ears personally, as you guys hear, it's really amazing to have the bass focus when you play in the B string. In the E strings, I will say I don't mind, but sometimes I prefer without the bass focus is on, sometimes I prefer the bass focus is on. But in B string, it's mainly on all the time. E string, I will give it 50-50. But the problem appears when you go to A string. So let's hear it on the same riff on A string with bass focus on and bass focus off. <laughs> As you guys hear, in A string, I really don't like the bass focus on because I can hear the sound is missing a lot of low frequencies. The only problem now is that the bass focus is not foot switchable function. That's why I found in a gigging situation, somehow it's not be the perfect solution, but in home recording or storage recording, it's amazing. I make two track shots and one was bass focus off, one was on, and then I hear it part by part and then I start to edit to take which part from which line. Uh, so it's really amazing for home recording or studio recording, but a live situation is not that useful because I need to turn it on and off between the songs at least. I will not say the whole gig, but at least between the songs, but I can't turn it on and off in the middle of the song. That's why the foot switch is important to have this function of foot switch, but unfortunately it's not. Now let's talk about the channel. Channel one, which is that everybody saying it's a bridge sound. Channel two, everybody said it's a modern American sound. I will say channel one, it will start from clean tone so to get a clean tone you need to get the gain very low on a channel one and once you start to raise the gain it will take you up to overdrive and really nice crunch sound <coughs> that's the old people saying it's a bridge sound and channel two it will start with this crunchy overdrive sound and will take you up to high gain modern sound which for my ears this is the best modern high gain sound that i can get from any amplifiers in that price and that power rate, like I compare it to Mesa Mark 525, Firebolt 25, EVH uh, 5150, 50 watt. I will say they are all great amps. Nothing negative against them, but this channel 2 was kicking them. Uh, still, this amp is not versatile for live situations. The second major problem in this amp is a clean tone. Uh, you can't get an easily nice clean tone. So you get two options to get a clean tone. First one that you need to sacrifice channel one and get the gain very low as you see here and get the volume high and then you can have a clean tone and that clean tone is what you guys heard in the demo. Second way to get a clean tone is to connect your guitar directly to the return of the effects loop so you get overpass the preamp section and now you depend on your guitar pickups, power section of the amp and you get your clean tone. So guys, keep in mind when you go for the return of the effects loop by your guitar, take the volume back to the middle or maybe less. That can be different from uh, guitar pickups if you use high output or active pickups or low medium output pickups. Uh, so let's hear the difference of the clean tone when I had the front of the amp on a channel one and when I had the effects loop in the back. So as you guys hear, there's a big difference in the tone and I will say both are nice actually. Uh, the one in the front it has a lot of high end and that triple sound, which is, I really enjoyed. And when I go direct in the effects loop, the sound is dark and warm, which sometimes I feel like I need that sound to my uh, 
clean tone or my arpeggios. So both are good. I can record both and blend them together. So uh, that's the two ways to get uh, clean tone or you can use a preamp clean tone pedal and connect directly to the power amp section. Uh, this is actually how you get a clean tone and that's a, one of the major problems. Now let's hear the sound of the channels and see how the EQ affecting. Let's move to channel 2. Okay, so now we go to the fun part, which is the foot switching. So uh, this is a foot switch came with the amp. So uh, one of the negative side of this foot switch that the cable is attached to the foot switch, so you can't remove it. Uh, so I'm planning to to cut it and make a cable and socket. I, once I do it, I'll put the video up here, and it will be the link in the description below. And uh, I did this foot switch. A uh, very simple one. Okay, uh, first of all, this light, it's not in the amp. I did it uh, for my amp. Uh, if you are interested to adding this LED uh, to your amp, that changing with the channels and foot switching on and off. So follow one of the videos up here and the link will be in the description below. This is a foot switch that I did. It's really simple. Two bottom, same functioning as the other one. So I can use any one of them if I just need one foot switch. If I need both, I can use both. And I don't care which one is where. So uh, now let's talk about the foot switching option. Um, you have two inputs, foot switch one, foot switch two. You can use any one of the foot switching socket or you can use both of them. So let's start by using the foot switch one only. Um, in that case, this switch here will be overdriven and bypassed. So there is no use and it doesn't matter if it's up or down. Um, and in that case, uh, this one gain one and two will change the gain and this one will change the volume uh, so now I am in gain one volume one 
Now I am in game two, volume one. Now I am in game two, volume two. Now I am in game one, volume two. So I can choose any one of the games, which is a channel and choose which one of the volumes. So I can have two different volumes. Uh, it was the same channel, I can switch between the volume and switch between the channel individually. So now in FS2, this switch is not bypassed, uh, it has a function. So if it's up, which is means channel one, so in that case, when you are off, you have a channel one, you have gain one with volume one and gain two with volume two, you switch between them uh, by gain one and two on the foot switch. So as it's off now, so you have a channel one, volume one, press on channel two, volume two. And this one will be for effect loop on and off. The lights in the amp is I, is not coming in your amp if you buy a one. And then if you put this one down here, now the amp is locked on channel two. And if you switch between a channel, it will actually switch between volumes. So when I'm off now, and the toggle switch on the channel two, which is down. So this means I'm on a channel two, volume one. And if I activate it here, I will be in a channel two, but volume two. And this one is still on the effects loop on and off. Uh, so now let's see what will happen if we add both foot switches. When I add both foot switches, uh, the toggle switch here between channel one and two is bypassed now and it has no function. Um, very simple, this is a FS2. So this one is for effects loop on and off. That's why I make the lamp blue. This one is for completed channel one, which is gain one and volume one together. When I activate it, I get channel two, which is gain two with volume two. But in the same time, if this one is off now, so I supposed to be channel one and volume one. But in the same time, I can use this foot switch to change to channel two or to change to volume two. So now this foot switch is functioning normally, the FS1, when FS2 is on a channel one. But once I press here to move to channel two, this one now is bypassed and is not functioning. And when I press it back, I go back again to the same settings. So now we'll do something. Now we have the both light is on. So I will go to channel two and then I will switch in this one. And when I go back now, so you can change the settings even if you are not using it, but when you go back to it, it will apply the new settings. So to make it more simple somehow, when you are connecting both foot switches, the FS2 had the upper hand when you are on a channel two. And while you are in a channel one, the FS1 had the upper hand. Uh, that's how it goes. And I will say you have million of functions uh, when you have the both uh, foot switches. Now you can ch change everything you can want to get. You can get it, except you still have a problem with the clean tone. If you are using both channels as high gain channel or like overdrive channels. So the amp has really cool features, but still I will say it's missing some versatility, especially in the clean tone. If the bass focus function, it's foot switchable, it will be amazing for the amp. I will try to add it in the future, but uh, it requires for me some time to uh, open the amp and maybe it will stay open for like a week. So I can't use it and uh, I'm not ready for that at the moment. Um, the clean tone has no solution except sacrifice channel one or go directly to the return of the effects loop. Channel one, effects loop on, that will be my clean tone light. And that will be my lead tone light. And that will be my rhythm tone light. If you are looking to have this to your amp, not specifically Kraken, but some other amps, uh, follow the video, as I mentioned. It will somehow help you for whatever the amp you have. Uh, yeah, so that's for the video today. Sorry for it was long. I was trying to mention everything in that amp. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now I will leave you with the road track of the demo that you heard in the beginning. I will just now play the road track. And uh, see you in another video, guys. Ciao.